Been a while, hasn't it? Well, as you saw by the thumbnail, we're going to be baking some gaming logos today. So preheat your ovens and let's get cooking. Step 1. Open Affinity. Step 2. File, New, set the dimensions to 1440 by 1440 pixels and hit Create. Step 3. Create a new layer. Step 4. Select the gradient tool and drag from the bottom to the top and change the colors to two shades of dark blue. Step to the right. Select the text tool, click and drag then type out any letter of your choice, change the color to a really light desaturated blue, then change the font to Fiji Craig Zone. If you don't already have this font, which you probably don't, I'll be leaving a link to it down in the description. Will I though? Yes, you fucking will, dickhead. All right, jeez. What an asshole. Okay, glad we got that sorted out. Click on the shape tool and select any shape that you'd like. I'm gonna choose a polygon and set it to six sides. Then I'm going to click and drag over my text, removing the fill, adding a stroke of blue and increasing the size of said stroke to 16 as it fits in nicely with the text. I'm now going to adjust the text to have it fit in better. When doing this, you want some of the text to stick out of the shape, like here and here. We're now going to select the shape Hit the effects panel and add a stroke of around about 30 pixels. Now control click on the layer's thumbnail, click the text layer, select the erase brush tool, then start erasing some of the text in the selection. Now add an outline of 30 pixels to your text, select the shape layer, control click on the text thumbnail, and start erasing some of the shape in the selection. Now remove the outlines from both of the layers, and now you have this kind of thing going on. I don't know what you call this. Anyway. So like both of your layers, duplicate them and drag them below the other two layers, you can also hide them for now if you'd like. Okay, so select the text layer, open the effects panel back up and add an inner glow. Set the radius to 100, now 80, and up the intensity just a little bit. Set the blending mode to overlay and finally reduce the opacity to 80%. Now for the shape layer, inner glow, set the blending mode to overlay, radius to 50, reduce the intensity a little and opacity to 90%. We're going to give it a bit more of a dynamic look now, so control click on the shape thumbnail again, create a new layer and select the brush tool and change the color to right. Now paint over some interest points for the shape and set the blending mode to the marvelous overlay. Repeat the process for the text layer, so control click, new layer, paint, overlay. Now group our top four layers together and call it something like front. We're going to move on now and give this a 3D look, so select the bottom two layers. Unhide them and hold Control shift and just drag one of these corners down just a slight bit like this. At this very moment in time and space, click the text layer, select the shape tool and hit this little button that says convert to curves. Now select the node tool, which will be bundled in with the pen tool for most of you, and start creating nodes, dragging them up to our corners of our front shape to give it a 3D look. And if you have something like this, just drag it inside itself. For the shape, we're going to have to create more shapes by using the pen tool and just drawing over the gaps to make sure we move the stroke and set the fill to the same color as our shape. We're now going to group these layers and call it something like 3D. Then head over to the effects panel and give it a black overlay of 50%. And guess what? Add an inner glow. Set the radius to 15 pixels, intensity to 20%, blending mode to overlay and opacity to about 60%. Now the actual logo is kind of done now, but we're going to make it look cooler. So, group both the front and 3D groups and duplicate it. Hide the first group then rasterize the new group. Select the perspective tool and just slightly push this point out and this one in. This just makes it a bit more dynamic. Now, god how many times are we going to say that in this tutorial? Now duplicate the layer, add a Gaussian blur filter and set it to 5 pixels. Set the blending mode to lighten and reduce the opacity to 50%. Duplicate this layer and set the blur to 15 pixels. And now we have a glow. A glow. A glow. You know what a glow is. It's all we ever do on this channel. Create a new layer and select the paintbrush tool. Set the color to right and click in the center of our project. Select it with the select tool, resize it and drag it up. Set the blending mode to soft light and do the same but this time with a blue brush. Set the blending mode to hard light and with an opacity of 25%. Now a new layer again and just paint over some parts of our image and right, setting the blending mode to overlay and opacity to 15%. But actually almost basically done. 
All we need to do is some code correcting now. So just click this button up here. Just, you know, this one. And also this one. You should click um, the this one as well. Here, really just like mess about with these sliders until you get a result that you're happy with. It's basically personal preference. Anyway, that's the end of this tutorial. As you saw by the thumbnail, you can change the colors, letters, and shape to really whatever you want. And it will still look just as good. Hopefully you learned something today, and if you did, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Anyway, lads, peace.